whatever you're seeing right now does not change any of the fundamentals. Being included in the Philippine Stock Exchange Index does not change your fundamentals, does not change any of the fundamentals of those companies. Being included does not make them more fundamentally sound. What they are, the valuations of the company and the growth of the company remains the same. This is an outward recognition in terms of price and market cap for the stock as well. Hey guys, so in this video, I want to talk about the inclusion of AC Energy, ASEN, and Converge, CNVRG, to the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. What does this mean for these stocks? Are there any changes in its fundamentals because of this? And then what happens to the stocks like DMCI and then Perador, which will be taken out also of the Philippine Stock Exchange Index? First things first, for those who are new and don't know a lot about the Philippine Stock Exchange Index, please do note that the PSEI is a representation of 30 companies in the Philippine Stock Exchange, which is market capitalization weight, meaning the larger your market cap, the larger the impact you have in the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. Please do note also that the index is recalibrated every six months. That most of the time, the ones that are in the lower portions of the ranking in terms of market cap, they're the ones that have the biggest chance to be also launched off. So meaning the top ones, the ones that have a higher allocation in the index, BDO, SM, SM Prime, AC, Ali, they've been mainstays already of the index. It would be very, very hard for them to be this large. So if you're asking which are the ones that have a shot to be replaced in the next rebalancing, those are the ones that are relatively lower in terms of market cap and in terms of size as well. So please do note also that recalibrations and companies being taken out of the index is normal. This is not something that alters the fundamentals of a company as a whole. Please remember also that it's not part of the criteria in terms of how they add you, how they rank, you in the index. PE, ROE, growth of your EPS is not included in the mix. The dividend yield ratio is not also included in the mix. Although it's prestigious to be added into the index, it doesn't mean that your fundamentals is bad if you're taken out. It doesn't also mean that there's a boost in your fundamentals when you are taken in. Just for people to know also about the news, ASEN and CNVRG or Converge would be added and this would take effect this August 16, 2021. And the ones that they will replace is Emperador and DMCI. So that being said, let me answer this first from a price standpoint. The biggest impact on this on price will be basically there are funds, of course ETFs also track the index. That actually means that funds that track the index will have to buy Converge. They will also have to buy ASEN for them to be able to follow and track its current composition. That also means that they will have to sell Emperador. That also means that they would have to sell DMCI. As a result, please do note this, when funds, institutions, large amounts of money buy something, as you all know when we talk about technical analysis, more buyers bring the prices up and more sellers bring the prices down. And the normal reaction and the normal response to this is basically, when those large funds, those large institutions start buying up, as you can see also right now that we've seen upward movement for Converge. Intraday, we've seen Converge hit around 26 and ASEN also go above the 9 peso mark. That's the impact of when you see a lot of buying. And of course, it's also positive. Now, it's not just about it, number one, institutions, funds adding it to their portfolio. It also adds a bit of positive sentiment towards it. And as you all know, people, investors, tend to jump into things that look more positive. And being added to the Philippine Stock Exchange Index is something that's also prestigious from a company level. It's something, in my opinion, that companies vie for. It's something that companies are excited about or it's something that they want to be in, especially when they list in our particular market. So that being said, any upward movement that you will see in ASEN, and Converge. Of course, they're fundamentally sound companies. I've been talking about them also over the past months that Converge is very, very relevant today that because we are in a lockdown, we are in the new normal, the use of digital technology, the use of broadband will be bigger, stronger than ever. And then they're right smack in the middle of growing, they're right smack in the middle of growth in an area or in an industry that's underserved. And as you all know, I like AC Energy for the fact that 
renewable energy is the future and they are in the right side of change and they are the right sector as to where the whole world will be over the next few years because you want to be invested in companies that are factoring in sustainability that are factoring in that we cannot remain in fossil fuels forever because it's very very harmful to the environment and converge right smack in the middle of the lockdown in the growth of broadband and internet in the Philippines and ASEN is basically investing and banking on the future of renewable energy. So that being said, the fundamentals are very, very good. But please do note that whatever you're seeing right now does not change any of the fundamentals. Being included in the Philippine Stock Exchange Index does not change your fundamentals, does not change any of the fundamentals of those companies. It looks very prestigious. It looks very good. From a sentiment standpoint, it's something that people will like very much, that people will look in, that there are some investors that don't like to buy stocks that are not part of the index. And them being included in the index already places them in the list of companies that people also would want to consider into. But as you all know me, I'm not a big fan of labels. I don't buy just because it's labeled as something that's part of the index. I really look at the fundamentals, the growth, and the potential of the company. But that being said, the addition of ASEN and the addition also of Converge places buying pressure on them because institutions would need to allocate them and need to put them as part of their portfolio, especially for those that are tracking the index. That means that whatever percentage allocation that Converge and also ASEN will have in the index, those funds will have to buy that proportion as part of their fund so that they can equally mirror and follow the index as well. So whatever buying pressure is brought about that, and secondly, whatever buying pressure is brought about by the positive sentiment and the prestige of them being added to the index as well. Those are the two things that could cause buying pressure for those stocks over the short term. Being included does not make them more fundamentally sound. What they are, the valuations of the company and the growth of the company remains the same. This is an outward recognition in terms of price and market cap for the stock as well. That being said also, I just want to balance things out that as you all know, DMCI and also Emperador will be taken out of the list. In the same way, you could expect downward pressure on those stocks primarily because funds on the flip side would not be allocating them to their portfolio anymore. Hence, they have to be taken out. Hence, they have to be sold as well. And similar to what I mentioned earlier, if more buyers bring the prices up, more sellers, institutions, large money, selling will bring the prices down. So if you see downward movement of them, from now up until the change in the composition of the index as well, or more downward pressure also for these particular stocks. It's primarily because of that. It's primarily because of portfolio management, portfolio allocation. It's primarily because of the shift from DMCY, Emperador, all the way to Converge and ASIN as well. So that's the effect on it on a price standpoint. And in the same way, you also value DMCI and Emperador based on their fundamentals. And none of this movement changes their fundamentals as well. This is just an outward recognition also based on the normal recomposition of the index on a biannual level. So I hope that this is something that helped you and this is something that gave you clarity. For those who want to trade ASEN, Converge, Emperador, and DMCI, I highly suggest that you look still at their charts for entry and exit. For those who want to invest in it, always go back to the fundamentals, always go back to their growth, always go back to the fundamental story. If the fundamental reason on why you want to invest, stack, buy, accumulate them is still there, then for whatever reason, you should be buying and you should be holding. I was supposed to say huddle, nasa, nasa na sa crypto videos, but if the fundamental reason on why you are buying them is still there, then no matter the drop or no matter the movement up, you can either accumulate more or you can hold as much as you can as well. So that's it. I hope you guys got a lot from this. I hope that this is something that's insightful for all of you. I know we're all on the first day of our lockdown, but I hope you're good. I hope that you use this two-week period for you to be able to learn, study, and get better. I hope that you also use this weekend or also for you to unwind and do things to bring you forward in terms of your dreams of financial freedom. If you're new to this, my name is Marvin Gerbo and I make videos on stocks and cryptocurrencies and if you like more about this, like, share, subscribe and smash the bell so you get updated every time I come up with new content about investing. And if you want to learn more about investing in stocks and cryptocurrencies, check out the links below for our seminars that we have online. Check out the links below for the books that I've created. Check out the links below also for the playlists that I have in both of my channels. So you can also check my new channel, my second channel, Investing Made Easy. I'll put the links in the description below for you to be able to check it out and for you to be able to see more and more videos of that because I'm gonna pump out more videos in that channel as well. 
I guess that's it. I hope that this is something that's very insightful for all of you and I hope that this gave you insight in the world of what happens to a stock when they get added to the index and what happens to the ones that get taken out as well. So this is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon and God bless you all.